Hello everybody, this is Reality Is and I stopped eating my lunch um, just to make this video because I was on the internet and I was listening to a video uh, in relation to Kim Davis released from prison after denying um, partaking and giving someone a license of same sex to be married. And then I listened to the interview behind um, Huckabee on one side of husband and the Christian firm that represented her and her being locked up for standing up for her Christian's beliefs. And so the young lady said that uh, she's confused and that this should not be. Here's my issue with that. We all have different religions backgrounds and certain things in certain religions we believe in and for Christians they believe in what the Bible says that marriage is defined by a legally born male and a legally born female the law of the land says that same-sex marriage is legal this country is guided by freedom of choice it's called the United States and every individual in this country has a right now if people decide to be married same-sex marriage that's their sexual preference choice but you can't force on me what I don't feel is right for my beliefs and for every certain people to jump on the bandwagon and say that she's wrong well that's her beliefs and because that's her beliefs does not make it wrong. And because the law of the land said it's legal does not mean that everybody's going to jump on that train ride and ride it. So you can't force anything on anybody. What we should force and force we don't force and force. Black lives matter. We don't enforce that. We have a, a defining line of what's right and what's wrong. And because same-sex marriage is an issue, you can't enforce me to accept your choices. If I believe different, that's unfair to me. That violates my rights. You want people to respect you, then you have to respect everybody's rights and their opinions. If that's the case, when you really boil it down to realness, we all feel some type of way about something. White folks feel a certain way about black folks. They don't like the color of black people's skin, but yet you go in the tanning spa for some of you who have a problem with black people and you lay on the beach to get our color. But if you cut anybody, whether you're red, purple, pink, or it's black, you are going to uh, bleed red blood. Bottom line. So why is it such an issue when it comes down to people's choices? The things we should address, we don't address. And we need to change that. It needs to stop. So the government, the law of the land have made it illegal. But you can't enforce that on people's Christian beliefs. If they believe what the Bible said from Genesis to Revelation, that's unfair. And yes, you have a job. So if you know those people feel strongly about their Christian beliefs, then find them another department to get in. The same thing with abortions. So it, it, it's still the same thing. Somebody's Christian beliefs. You want to respect that, but you don't want to respect this. That's backwards. So get it together. That's crazy.